I'm amazed if Young Turks has any viewers at all, actually. But do viewers of the Young Turks, or readers of the Young Turks, or people who follow the Young Turks and believe what people like Chenk and Anna say, do they actually think that they're remotely alternative? Because they're not. They are just parroting mainstream lines. It's exactly the same as MSNBC. It's exactly the same lie narrative, false narrative, erroneous narrative as CNN and BBC and Sky and everything else. All the mainstream media that parrots lies and that's its job. The Young Turks parrots those same lies and calls itself alternative media. Well, now they think that Roger Stone being arrested was a wonderful day in America. Yeah, proof that you live in a banana republic with Soviet Union-style reality TV show lynchings, that's a good day in America. Yeah. So when the government, the deep state, whatever, has been shown to, uh, you know, follow its own law and give no regard to rule of law whatsoever, that's a good day in America. And it's because people like the Young Turks, etc., hate America. People who watch the Young Turks hate America. They hate their own country. They hate themselves. Cenk, for example, is so full of hate for himself <laughs> that he knows he's ugly and repulsive and he knows that women aren't going to be attracted to him and as a result, he's very sexist against them. He hates them because they're not attracted to him. He calls them bitches, etc. We, we know all this. But he seems to get away with it and carries on working for TUT, TYT. There is only hypocrisy and no standards when it comes to the left, isn't there? That's why people like Whoopi Goldberg are saying, you know, forgive Liam Neeson because, oh, even though he was a racist and went around with a cosh actually going to beat up a random black man, he's not actually a bigot. No, of course he wasn't. Well, it's because he's a leftist, doesn't it? It's because he's a movie star. Because he's one of them. I don't care about him. I say destroy him. I stand by free speech, but I actually think he was racist. I think what he did should upset black people, and I'm glad that they are upset, because it was Liam Neeson that did it, and it's the left that's pardoning him. But people are disturbed. They said they haven't heard that language since the 80s or 90s, and since the Troubles, and since when there was actual racial attacks, and the P-word, and the N-word, and all these things that were verboten from society throughout my generation. We've been conditioned to not use certain words, and it's been absolutely fine. We don't have to use certain words. The problem is... When one of their own uses those words, when they attack themselves, etc., they're all willing to forgive them because they're leftists, because of their politics, because they're movie stars, because it's one of our own. But if it was someone like Trump, if it was someone like Roseanne, if it was someone on the right, do you think they would forgive them? Do you think they would give them anything? I mean, you remember what happened to um, Megyn Kelly? She said she didn't mind blackface, that cultural appropriation was absolutely fine, that someone can dress up in blackface and that's fine. That gets you kicked off the telly. Because on telly, you're not allowed to say blackface is fine because it's automatically a racist hate crime. Even though it's fine in real life. Even though cultural appropriation doesn't exist. The leftist lunatics are the ones that push unreasonable laws on the right. Because they're their ideological opponents. They're their political enemies. They don't care about being their friends. They don't care about salvaging anything. They don't care about having anything in common or working to some sort of common goal, you know, like stopping censorship, etc. They just care about destroying us. And then we care about destroying them. And as we destroy each other, no one has any freedom. What about the centrists in the middle who are just like, left and right, stop it? You know, YouTube and everyone, they allow the far right. They allow the far left. They allow extremist content. They allow Richard Spencer. They allow neo-Nazi content like Daily Stormer, etc. And Andrew Anglin and genuine neo-Nazis. They don't allow moderates. They won't allow Tommy. They won't allow Anne-Marie Waters. They won't allow people that have reasonable common sense perspectives or people that they frame as conspiracy theorists because now they're just dangerous, etc. So the problem is moderates and people speaking common sense. The thing that's allowed and forgotten about is the actual far right, the actual far left, the actual neo-Nazis, the actual Soviet Union communist hardballers, etc. The people that want to censor and lock you away because you don't believe in global warming. Those people are now prominent and they have power and influence in the media. Yes, I don't believe in global warming. Yes, I'm an anti-vaxxer. Yes, I don't believe this. Yes, I don't believe that. I don't believe in anything the establishment tells me because the establishment has been set up to delude and distract. It's a weapon of mass distraction for the public while they're exploited. And they're not all paying attention to their exploitation and how they're being exploited because we're all fighting with each other. We're all distracted by a million different things going on at once. And this was written about that this would happen to society and it's happened right now. And now you tell people we're living in the new world order. They don't believe you. They call you a conspiracy theorist because it's just too scary to accept that the media must be lying about everything and everything is a fabricated, constructed narrative that isn't true. Oh, by the way, I've split my lip. <laughs>